Hey Arlington Heights, Adam Harris here, your communications coordinator, and I am with Diana and Ursula at South Middle School. They're both members of the After School Photography Club, and coming in and watching them really embrace what photography is has been really great. Yep, there's their camera, and they're, they're so excited to tell us why they love photography. So let's start with Diana. Diana, tell us why you joined this club and what you're getting out of it. Well, I really like taking photos and everything and just kind of playing around with like filters and everything to make the photo like dark with shadows or like making it really light and like the color contrast and everything. It's really cool. And stuff like that, like when you do play with that type of stuff, it can tell a different story in the photo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what's your assignment today, Ursula? Um, we are focusing on stuff in the library and there's a lot of things to focus on. There's texture, light, and patterns, which um, really, it's a fun time focusing on those things because you get to focus on things that we haven't really noticed before in our library. So what's texture in a photo for people that um, are amateur photographers and just like taking pictures for fun? Like what's texture, what's light, what does that stuff matter? Um, it, well, it matters a great deal on how your photo is going to turn out. When you take a photo, it's, it depends on how it's going to focus on the object you're taking a photo of. Mm -hmm. And the texture is really exciting to take pictures of because you get to focus on the texture is... Like what it, what it would feel like if you yeah. touched it, right? Yeah. And you're and trying to like show that? Yeah, it's really fun to show it in a picture because... Not every picture can show how something feels. It's really exciting. Yeah. That's cool. To capture that. So. Um, okay. So, can you guys tell me what your one of your favorite photo uh, photos you've ever taken is? Um, well, I took a photo of a waterfall going into the ocean, and there was like rocks around and a lot of vegetation, mm -hmm. and all the colors made it look really cool, and like the actual landscape. Yeah. And it did look like. You could almost hear the waterfall falling down. Yeah, That's you get cool. the, and it feels like you're there if you take a good picture. That's awesome. Do you remember one one of your favorites? Um, yeah, I do. I have a pond in my backyard, so we get a lot of critters there. <laughs> and I took this one really pretty picture of um, a frog, and you could see actually the texture of like the frog's skin, very smooth, and you could see. Um, pattern and like the shine of the light hitting off of it so like those three really make up a good picture and it was just something that I could relate to so I guess that's why I really liked it I love it mm -hmm. and I also noticed like depth matters too right you can tell different stories I don't know there's yeah. so much to photography that I'm starting to learn <laughs> a little bit so I'm really happy that I was able to watch you guys do this today um, you guys are very talented <laughs> and Thank I like you. how passionate you are so that's all I got you guys want to add anything or what do you think um, if you guys don't really know about uh, photography, you might want to give it a try because it really focuses on stuff that you haven't really noticed about your community uh, before, and it's really exciting. So, yeah. I like that. Thank it, you. It does. It helps you, like, focus on things that you haven't noticed, like, yeah. like you said. I love it. Um, okay, so we're going to just say goodbye now, all right? See ya. Thank you. Bye.